Before we close out, I do want to celebrate and say huge congratulations to Patrick Mahomes. This brother sealed the deal, literally got big coins. I don't know if one of you want to take it away and talk about his amazing contract. Yeah, it's it's a baseball contract in, in the sense. Um, 10 years, 450 million. Really, it's more of a 12-year, close to $500 million deal because he still had two years left on his deal. Um, it's, a, it's a solid move for him because there's an injury uh, insurance clause in there, which would at least guarantee him about $160 million, um, wow. you know, with, with the roster bonuses and incentives. He's, he's going to be a very rich man for a very long time. And as we always talk about generational wealth, Patrick Mahomes has set up gener generational wealth for his kids and his grandkids as well. Yeah, I um I really because I like Patrick Mahomes, so I hope he's able to to stay healthy, and he's able to really play out this uh, this contract. Um, I would have liked to seen a little more get. Well, I would like to see a lot more guaranteed, and he probably has the power <laughs> to where he could have been like, listen, I'll take four hundred million over over ten years, but I'm gonna need three hundred of that guaranteed. You know, I would have liked to see that just because. He actually, he's the person that's setting the tone uh, for Deshaun Watson, for Lamar Jackson, uh, right. even, Dak, even Dak Prescott. He's the one that was supposed to be setting the, setting the tone. So I would have liked to see a, a little bit more. Um, I'm interested to see what the Ravens will do for Lamar Jackson. I think uh, by the end of this season, they should be um, starting to work on, on his, uh, his new contract. Um, but, but again, listen, $500 million is $500 million. Congratulations, uh, Mr. Mahomes. Um, I wish you success, but not too much because I want the Ravens to come back this year and, and win the Super Bowl. But anytime you can, you can set yourself up, set your family up, you know, for, for, for long-term generational wealth, you got to love that. Yeah, the, the, the only uh, – and this is purely playing devil's advocate. Um, the only issues I had with um, the contract was the length which I felt kind of taken has will take him off the market in his prime years. He's 24 now. If he does play out the totality of his contract, 12 years, he'll be 36 before he's a free agent. Which we know at that point, most quarterbacks aren't as successful at that age. So he would never get an opportunity to test the market again and uh, reset the market and also see what's out there for him. Because if Kansas City isn't doing right by him, you always want to have that opportunity to seek out a team that will. Um, and then the second part of it is the guarantee money. Um, as we talked about trip privately, we thought this contract had to be in the range of 450 plus million. I agree. I think the guaranteed money should have been somewhere in the range of $300 million. Um, but either way, if he's healthy, he's still gonna make a lot of money. To just be 24 years old and stealing that deal and to be a brother breaking the records that he has, I am super excited about this contract. And um, I just, I agree with the both of you, but definitely as far as that the length of time was something that I was like, ooh, that's quite the commitment, you know what I mean? And so, um, I mean, we'll see. I, I believe that he'll be able to make them a better team, and whether they're doing right by him or not, he's an amazing player. This is Dion Grant from the New York Giants, Super Bowl champ, and you're watching Real Fans, Real Talk. Real talk.